1944, a Jewish doctor who was a refugee from Nazi Germany started a new spinal injuries unit at Stoke Mandeville Hospital. At the time, patients were only expected to live for two years, so the idea was to make their remaining days as comfortable as possible. Ludwig Gutmann had other ideas about their life expectancy and insisted on managing treatment his way. His approach was controversial to many, but Gutmann single-handedly revolutionized the care of the paralyzed. He got patients off sedation and turned in bed every two hours to prevent infections. Next, he insisted they got up and moved around by taking part in craft and sporting activities. One of Gutmann's most inspired ideas was to get wheelchair patients playing competitive sport as a way of improving fitness, boosting self-esteem and restoring personal dignity. It changed my world out of all uh, recognition because it gave me so much more confidence. You know, I knew that I was then equal to anybody. I don't know where I would have been without him. On the same day as the opening of the 1948 London Olympic Games, Dr. Gutmann organised a team from the Star and Garter home to compete in an archery demonstration, and it had a lasting impact. The 14 men and two women who took part that day became the first Paralympians. Gutmann organised a similar event every year, and in each successive year, the Games got bigger and better. In 1952, the first international event was held when a small team from the Netherlands came to compete. From this date, Popper, as he was endearingly known, referred to the Games as the Olympics of the Disabled. How important are games like these to paraplegics? Very important, see, from both the physical and psychological point of view, but uh, the most important is from the point of the, uh, the social reintegration of the paralyzed into society. The 1960 event is widely thought of as the first Paralympic Games, being held overseas for the first time, just after the Olympics in Rome. 400 paralyzed men and women took part, representing 24 countries. From this point on, an annual event was held at Stoke Mandeville, and in each Olympic year, the Games moved, in the hope that they would be held in the Olympic city. My first ever Paralympic Games was Tokyo, and I was lucky enough to come back with two gold medals, including the first ever track event. The Paralympic movement continued to grow. Papa Goodman would have loved to have been here now. He had an extraordinary idea, and from that small acorn in Stoke Mandeville, we're now going to have 4,200 athletes from 165 nations competing in the London 2012 Paralympic Games. That's an awesome journey in just 64 years.